In this short video, we're going to be walking through uh, how to calculate price increases over a period of time. And so we've got a question which you can read in the description of this video. I'm going to go ahead and read that aloud. And then we're going to walk through uh, how to actually calculate the impact of rising consumer prices. So the question is, uh, if the consumer price index was 232 in 2013 and 244 in 2015, how much did price increases uh, or how much did prices increase rather during this time period? So uh, like most questions, we're given certain pieces of financial information. And of course, we have to solve for others. And so we're going to go ahead and write down what we actually know. So what we do know is that in 2013, the consumer price index was 232. And we know that in 2015, the consumer price index increased to 244. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out really the value of this difference. Uh, so what is the value of a 12 uh, uh, increase in CPI and how does that really affect my daily life? Um, so this is a, a simple uh, question of calculating a percentage. Uh, so the way that we want to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to go ahead and switch colors here real quick, uh, is we are going to calculate the difference between the two CPIs. Um, so the first thing we're going to take is 244, which is our CPI for 2015. And we're going to subtract the CPI for 2013, which is 232. Um, so most of you have probably gotten to this point and figured that at some point you're going to have to subtract and determine the difference between the two CPIs. Now, the difference here is that we need to calculate the percentage change. And so to do that, we are going to divide by the CPI in 2013. Now, a common source of confusion uh, is which CPI to divide by. And if you picked the CPI for 2015, you will, of course, get uh, around 4.9%, which is incorrect. And the reason for that is we're calculating the change from 2015 to 20 or from 2013 to 2015. And so the base value is 2013. And thus we're calculating the increase from that point, which is why you would use 2013's value. Um, so this factors out to 12, of course, divided by the 232. And the resulting value gets us somewhere in the neighborhood of 4 0.9%. It will give you a decimal. And of course, uh, if you convert that into a percentage, you'll get 4.9%. Uh, so what does this actually mean? What is the significance of a 5% uh, increase in the uh, CPI? Uh, from what we know, CPI is a gauge for inflation. And so what you could say is within a two-year period, the on average prices for goods and services increased by 5%. So how is that relevant to us? Uh, well, it's relevant because we also have to consider how much our income is going up. And so if you said that, well, over those two years, my income actually rose by 3%, right, over a period of time from different raises and other things like that. Uh, but unfortunately, because the rate of inflation was 5%, what happened is, is that your actual income decreased by 2% over that period of time. Um, and although this um, isn't necessarily uh, dictated by the amount in your savings account, um, it is because of the reduced purchasing power. Since goods are now 5% more expensive, your income rose by three, uh, you technically realize a 2% loss in spending power.